can you give a little bit of context of why embodiment is so important and then maybe just your definition of it? So sort of three-pronged start here. Oh, shit. I got to remember all three of those questions, but I'll try. Um, I'll, yeah, I agree. I'll remember them. I'll remember them. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Embodiment is thrown around a lot, and particularly in men's work. I mean, you know this. It's kind of the this one of the terms du jour. Um, everybody's talking about it, and, and people have different meanings of, of what that is. Um, I'll give you mine, my, and I'll give it in the, in this very specific context of men's work that that we're talking about. And you can go through life, and for most of us, we get so much in our thinking minds. I mean, we can't help it. We spend all day uh, reading emails, reading texts, reading messages, watching videos, reading articles, responding to emails. I mean, we're just information processing machines now in, in this modern world, and, we, and it's really hard to get away from it. But the fact is that anything you do all day long is going to get stronger. Like that muscle will get stronger. And what happens is our world starts to consist of a lot of thoughts, thoughts and projections onto the world. And, and, you know, you know, as well as I do, thoughts are always about future and past. They're never really about right now. And so what happens is we, we create stories about the world around us to make sense of that world. If, you know, if anything's confusing, we come up with a story and a projection. So if I call you and you seem nonchalant to talk to me, you know, I'm like, well, maybe Connor's kind of upset with me. You know, or maybe Connor's kind of a dick or maybe Connor's this or that. You know, I, I sort of have these stories to make sense of what I experienced in the call, which, which felt like nonchalance. And then I start reacting to the world as if those stories were true. And we know how that goes. Because when you start doing that, you're never actually quite present. You're just going to be in more of a reactive state to all your stories and projections. And that's when you allow yourself to be kind of a floating head to be in your mind. But if you instead take your attention and turn it in, turn it towards the physicality of your body, that physicality only exists in this moment. Sensation only exists in this moment. So when you turn your attention down into some sensation, and we can talk about that in more detail, but some sensation in the body and just have a little bit of your attention on that, it actually tethers you into the now and it makes you more present uh, it's going to have you more in touch with your primal, but it really, you're going to just be more here now, less susceptible to believing all these stories that the thinking mind uh, creates for us. So embodiment to me is the practice of doing exercises that uh, uh, naturally start to train more and more of your attention onto your body. And you just, you start to have that be more of your natural state and you go through life and you're just part of your attention is always connected to the, to the sensations in the body. And then what that means is you're going to be more here in the now, a more present grounded man, and other people are going to feel that. So for me, that's what embodiment is. It's the practice of t naturally turning some of your attention, uh, towards the body so that you rest more in the body so that you rest more in this moment. Um, that's, that's how I define it. Okay. So 